One of the new features in Civil 3D 2010 is the ability to project objects from plan onto a profile view or a section view. Uh, let's go ahead and see this in action. So on this particular drawing, I have two viewports. Up at the top, I have a plan, and this is uh, of a bridge deck. And on the bottom, I have a profile. And uh, you kind of you can see the uh, the existing bridge deck in the uh, in the profile view. Now on a job like this, a bridge is going to consist not only of civil engineering elements, but it's also going to consist of structural elements, uh, maybe some columns, uh, so some structural beams. And what I would like to do in this case is I'd like to show these structural columns on the profile view. And these structural columns are, uh, are solids. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to click on the profile view. I'm going to project objects on the profile view. I'm going to go ahead and select these columns and it brings up the uh, dialog project objects to profile view where it shows me the objects or solids that I picked I could choose a style for how they display I can uh, even uh, even label the objects when they're projected I'm going to go ahead and click OK and when I do that you'll see in my profile view the uh, the columns are there and uh, they are uh, also uh, uh, labeled uh, based on those settings that uh, that we were just looking at so this object projection will work with feature lines 3d polylines solids which is what we just did points and blocks let's do it again this time we'll do it for a feature line you might have a 3d polyline or feature line that represents some other element. In this case, it uh, represents the uh, sidewalk uh, over to the uh, to 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 the top side of the uh, the bridge deck. So I will go ahead and click on the profile view. Project project objects to profile view. I'll pick the uh, feature line or 3D polyline. And again, the uh, the dialog uh, comes up where I could choose the style and uh, how I want to set the elevation. I'm just going to grab the elevations from the object and OK. And when I do that, you will now see a, a yellow uh, line uh, that represents the, uh, the, the sidewalk. So that shows uh, a projection of a feature line. Also works with points. Let's try that. Project objects to profile view. And I'll select some Kogo points. We could do AutoCAD points or Kogo points. Again, style, label, how you want to set the elevation. OK. And you'll see uh, right here uh, the, uh, the, the points are shown with uh, a certain style. It just shows basically an X. Uh, really nice for kind of uh, relating plan to profile. And finally, we could do it with blocks. Project objects to profile view. I'm going to pick this uh, fire hydrant you see here. And what's interesting about blocks is we can choose a style. Maybe a fire hydrant or a tree, we want to show an elevational view. Whereas in plan, we want to show a plan view. So I'm going to pick, pick fire hydrant for the projection style for the fire, hyd for, for the fire hydrant block. And uh, OK. And when that comes in, you'll see we could show a fire hydrant symbol okay in the uh, profile view looks really nice so this works for profile views and it also works for section views so if I wanted to project again project objects to view and I'll pick these columns and grab the Kogo point as well that's okay so it's going to take all these solids and the Kogo point and project them onto the section view OK. And you see we have the uh, projection in section view as well. So really nice handy tool. Uh, again, in Civil 3D, uh, we need to relate plan to profile. Um, and this, uh, this tool uh, allows us to do that. Finally, if you want to make any modifications to those objects in the profile, we can access the, the data for those projected objects uh, via the profile view. So if I click on the profile view, right click and go to profile view properties, you will see a projections tab. Click on that, 
and we can see all the objects that are currently projected. You remember I selected the solids, the fire hydrant block, the three Kogo points, and the feature line. They're all accessible here if we wanted to change the style, uh, if we wanted to change the, uh, the anything else about it. All right. So that's it. Hopefully that um, I've done an adequate job of showing you the uh, uh, object projection uh, functionality in Civil 3D 2010. Thank you.